Hi, welcome to livingpianos.com. I'm Robert Estrin with viewer questions and answers. We have a question from Julie. Julie asks, can playing successive heavy chord clusters detune a piano? I've heard that it can, but find it hard to believe that chord clusters could be more problems than something like a Rachmaninoff or Liszt etude. Well, thank you, Julie, for such a good question. You know, believe it or not, chord clusters can really knock a piano out even more than some music because the sheer volume and uh, all those different tones combined can really knock it out. In fact, one of my best piano tuners has a little technique he uses. At the end of a concert tuning, he will close the piano and play these big cluster, clusters of notes with his arms to really excite the soundboard. If you really want to knock a piano out, the more volume and the more notes you're playing at once, the better you will knock your piano out. This isn't to say that playing Liszt etudes and Rachmaninoff with its thick textures uh, will not also do the same thing because you're absolutely right. The piano doesn't care what it really sounds like, whether it sounds good or bad, it's gonna knock it out by the sheer volume. Good question, Julie. All right, we have another question. This one. Uh, love your YouTube channel, appreciate that. Thanks for the tour of those fabulous pieces of history. I have a few favorites. Quick question, I have a near 100 year old Nordheimer upright piano and I just adore the sound from it, but the, the piano frankly looks like it was beaten with an ugly stick. I have some woodworking skills and was considering stripping off the old crack glaze and spraying on a colored high gloss latex paint for some color because it couldn't look much worse than it does now. I know where the soundboard is, so if sprayed all the other non-moving cabinet and this will ruin my piano sound, I will go nowhere near the soundboard. Thanks for your advice and maybe anything you have to offer. Sincerely, Brandt. Well, I don't want you to underestimate how hard it is to refinish a piano. I can tell you this, if I had a dime for every half refinished piano I've seen, I'd probably be a very wealthy man. Yeah, a lot of people think they're going to refinish a piano, but when you get into it, it's very involved. First of all, you have to know how to disassemble the piano enough to be able to get to everything. You can't just refinish it the way it is. So that's one part, but there's a lot to it. Now, it won't hurt the sound. In fact, it won't affect it at all. The refinishing's purely aesthetic. If you just want to make it look better than it does without having to put an enormous amount of work, if you have a technician disassemble all the parts that come off, you could even just paint it black and it might look better than it does now without the arduous task of a total refinishing, which is a huge amount of work, as is reflected by the costs that refinishers get. So anyway, I appreciate the questions. Keep them coming in. Of course, I'm Robert Estrin at livingpianos.com. Until next time. Mm -hmm.